simplify, observe and change. This is a simplified demo on how we carry out the act of drawing, translating from what we see onto paper. And once we identify the shape we want to draw, we go through three steps to materialize it with our medium. And the three steps are simplify, observe and change. The drawing exercises are set up in one-to-one -one ratios, so we can make absolute comparison rather than relative comparison. It simply makes the training a little bit easier and more effective for self-studies, as it is possible to um, double-check with measurement tools when you're in doubt. So let's say we have we've identified a shape like this, and we're going to try to draw that shape. What we start is that we try to simplify um, the shape as few line as possible. So we're only for a shape like this, we're probably going to skip these small lines, this small change. And just find the, the height and the width. How could we simplify this shape so we find the height and width? So in the process of simplification, we also have to keep in mind the likeness of it. Does it represent, does the simplification represent the, the shape you're trying to draw in any way that help you following this line? And then this line going from here to here. It, this forms a line. And then there is one line here. From here to here. And then I will close the shape like this. Just going a general line, ignoring these corners. Just finding the general direction of the out, outer point. I know I have a limited space and I just need to nail those points first. Then I know that whatever judgment I make on the relationship between these and these will sit well within this shape rather than try to judge these first and then adjust the length of these later. These are bigger distances that holds these two shapes, these two lines. And now we have a simplified design. Now we're going to check for the accuracy. So did I get the width right? I'm checking the height. The height looks pretty good. Checking the width now from here to here, the furthest point. I feel like this is too wide. Okay, so now the question is, how do I make it shorter? Push this line in for now. We check the width and the height and we adjusted the width. Now we can then come and check the angles of these lines. So we're comparing and looking at from this point to this point, this point to this point. I feel like there is a bit of a different slant. So I'm just going to change it immediately. Now I'm checking this one from this point to this point. So I feel like this line is a little bit longer than this line. And I, I will shorten it. At the same time I get to move this angle of the line. So I do feel like my line is sitting a little flat. Like this line, I could move my line like this, and then it start making more sense.
Okay, now I make the changes. I erase the old lines and then now I'm comparing again. I feel like I've over um, adjusted it, so I'm gonna move it back a little bit, but not as far back as before. Just a just a little bit. So see, we moved a distance like this before. Now I'm moving back a little bit more. And this happens a lot when I'm making changes. It's just it's not perfect. Perfect changes are not perfect, and it just we just adjust it again. Another way of checking how my points or angles are working together as a shape, this shape, we can look at these high points across. So what I'm going to do, instead of checking the direction of the line that these two point forms, I just want to check the relationship is, in fact, this, not this or this. Then again, let's check the general direction. So this point, is lower than either of these, so the point on this side needs to be higher. Okay, nice. And now I'm gonna put this one in as straight lines. Then this, it's almost going straight down. Checking height. I think this angle is a little bit strong, but it could just be that I'm going a little bit over to change the angle. And then now we're seeing, okay, this is not completely the same yet, because this is rounder. And then all we have to do is just to add one and two. Two tiny, tiny lines cut into the straight lines. Now it looks more round. And maybe here it's also quite round. So there's a bit of a bulging and then dipping. So one small line to connect the dip. And then here to push it out a little bit more. So now we just add some details here after we have created some basic foundation. So the distance here is roughly correct. We already checked before we adding these tiny, tiny, tiny changes. Imagine if this distance were wrong and we already added these small details, then we have to erase everything and then move it around again. We can talk a little bit about the line qualities with this small silly example. Here it's quite light and soft in comparison to ours. This is quite sharp and clear. To copy the impression of the edge quality, we also make soft things soft. And it will help further improve the likeness. And then kind of all of our lines are a bit too sharp and dark, I think. Just lightening everything.
I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. I appreciate any feedback so I can make my future video more useful to you.